White. And I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. The water is coming, but when is still a question. Last week we spent a lot of time talking about the opening of the Morganza Spillway, which will flood more than 25,000 acres of farmland. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers first scheduled to open the control structure on Sunday, June 2nd, then moved to June 6th. Now the official opening date is set for June 9th. The date keeps getting pushed back because the forecast keeps changing on when the Mississippi River would overtop the Morganza control structure. Federal regulations keep the structure from opening before then. This would be only the third time the Corps opens the structure since 1954, the year it was built. However, there's still a lot of backwater flooding all across Louisiana. Also, the Mississippi River continues to be at flood levels for a record amount of time, and hurricane season is here. Twyla's Neil Malasson takes a look at what all of this water means for the Louisiana Gulf Coast. Before you get to Morgan City, you get the first sight of the amount of water around here. Highway 70 is down to one lane, thanks in part to the water that's been around all spring long. It's a low point in the highway, but in town, you can see it's also surrounded by water. Were it not for this wall, everything around here would be under. Thaddeus Escort brought his family to take a look. He says it's the highest he's seen since the Morganza Spillway opened up for the first time in 1973. Years and years ago, uh, it flooded before they built the sea wall. Uh, the levee broke, and uh, I was a little boy at the time where the water uh, came up and get the tickets out on boats. A barge has already been sunk in Bayou Shane ahead of the potential opening of the spillway to prevent more backwater flooding in parts east of Morgan City. The town also has gotten a couple of lucky breaks. First, the Morganza spillway opening has been delayed until at least June 9th. Second, the forecasted high has been lowered. The forecast for Morgan City has been dropped another half a foot. So now we're talking about nine feet in Morgan City instead of 10 feet, the forecast several days ago. But keep in mind, nine feet at Morgan City would still be the third highest level on record. Two of previous high records, 1973, 2011 the two times that they opened the spillways. The spillway opening is a dark cloud hanging over not only the city, but the low-lying areas around it. In talking with Ricky Gosselin, a sugarcane grower in nearby Iberia Parish, these canals have been full for months with or without the rain. Ultimately, the drainage in this area is affected by the tide. Whatever rain event we have, the tide has to work with us to get the water off our crops. And with significant amount of high tides during significant amount of weather events, we have a problem with drainage. From the ground, his place looks like any other cane field. From the air, though, you can see how close the brackish water is. This is the port of Iberia that connects directly to the Gulf. The threat of high water is a reality Gosselin has already seen. Kat Katrina and Rita was a significant event, both of them for, for our agriculture community. I mean, where we're standing now, we probably had four foot of water to the hood of this truck consistently for the whole storm surge, and it lasted over a three-day period. The spillway doesn't just threaten to flood land, it's also having an effect on the state shrimping industry. Louisiana shrimpers are having to go out further and further to find them, sometimes as much as 100 miles offshore. With the Bonacari open into Lake Pontchartrain, crabbing is down to as little as 10 percent of what's normal. All of these industries are holding on to a glimmer of hope that they won't have to open the Morganza, which Grimes says is a possibility. The pushback on the opening date has been because the big crest that they're expecting just hasn't arrived. And that's why I think we could see another delay because it's still slow to rise. And so as long as the water levels stay below that critical threshold point at the spillway for the core, they are probably, not probably, they are not going to open it. For now, the spillway remains closed, but the people who grow our food and fiber are under constant threat of it opening. As this washes down to the grocery stores, it might just start affecting us all. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Emil Lawson. There are a lot of people under threat from all this water, and this is certainly a story we'll be keeping track of in the coming weeks. Thanks, Neil.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below. That really helps us out. Also, please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all things Louisiana agriculture that we cover here on Twyla. Also, check out this video right here, and we'll see you on the next one.